Hi, I'm Jim Shields, Fluke's Product Manager for Process Calibration Tools. Today I'd like to show you a pressure calibration test being performed by the 729 Pro on a Rose Mount 3051 pressure transmitter. To begin the test, we have to get all connected to the milliamp jacks and we'll, we'll be powering the transmitter um, and recording the milliamp signal uh, as drawn from the 24 volt supply and our the output pressure of the 729 Pro is connected to the input of the transmitter. To begin the test, we would initiate the test by selecting um, heart for heart communication. I would turn on loop power and turn on the 250 ohm resistor. And here's the tag number that was found. I press continue and the calibrator is reading the heart device configuration of this transmitter for our testing. So if I select Notice uh, initially we're on heart data. If I select heart data, we can see here how the device is configured via the heart communication. Now we can see that this transmitter has a range of zero to 100 PSI. Select back. And now the next option, calibrate ad hoc. We'll use that device configuration to pre-configure pre the calibrator for the calibration test. So I select three. Now notice it's automatically set up to calibrate zero to 100 100 PSI based on the heart configuration of, of this particular device. If I press continue, we can see the test tolerance and the number of test points we're going to test. <clears throat> if I press continue and then auto test, now we're in the automatic calibration and documenting mode. The 729 Pro is going to apply pressures of 0, 50, 100, and then 50 and 0 PSI while recording the 4, 12, 20, 12 and 4 milliamp uh, values for the specific pressures that are being applied and calculate pass fail and errors. Right now we're going to the first test point um, at 50 psi. Once it gets within 10 points you'll see it shows stable and after five seconds it'll then go to the next point which is 100 psi. Now it's going to 100 psi. You see the milliamp value being recorded and it's error percent. Now after 100 PSI, it's reducing the pressure to 50 PSI to recheck the 50% point for hysteresis. Stable, error percent, and the milliamp value being recorded. And then the final test point, zero PSI, and we'll see our test summary. So here's our post-test summary. Here's the ideal test point pressure, the actual applied pressure, the milliamp value that was measured, and the milliamp error percent of span. Now, since we had a 0.2% test tolerance typed in for our test, all of these errors are out of that particular test tolerance, and this is showing as a failed as found test. So adjustment would be necessary using the heart utilities in the 729 Pro, which we'll show in a subsequent video. Thank you for your time viewing this video. For more information, please contact your local Fluke representative or go to fluke.com and look for pressure calibration. Thank you.